What's up, iPad Letterers? Welcome back to my channel. I haven't been so excited about an app I found on the App Store since I found Procreate four years ago. I've tried hundreds and hundreds of apps on the iPad, but about three weeks ago, I found a brand new digital journaling app called Zinnia and I haven't been able to put my iPad down. I've been using this app every day for the last three weeks and I have been so looking forward to making this video for you today. So let's jump right onto the iPad so I can show you. You can find the app on the App Store. It's called Zinnia Journal and Planner and it's a free download so you can try it out. When you first open up the app, you get presented with the journals view and you can see here, I've made quite a few journals already in the last three weeks that I've been using the app. But the first thing I really recommend that you look at is the quick start guide. This is really, really well thought out. This is a way for you to learn Xenia really, really quickly and easily. And it's interactive as well. So you can swipe to the page and then you get shown all the different features of the app. And what's really cool as well, it doesn't just show you all the basics of how Xenia works, but it also lets you practice and play with the features right inside this journal. I think this is the reason why I instantly got hooked on this app just because of this really really nice quick start guide it's so much fun so I definitely recommend that you spend a bit of time going through this and make yourself familiar with all the features that Xenia has but now let's go back to the journals view and let me show you how I'm using the app right now before we start creating a new journal I want to show you one of my journals that I've been using in the last three weeks and something that has been really really helpful for myself I've been doing a gratitude journal and I've created a new page every day first thing in the morning I just spent 10 minutes thinking about all the things I'm grateful for this has helped me so much getting to terms with everything that's been happening recently and really focusing on the positive has made all the difference and not just that this has also helped me exploring all the features of Zinnia trying out different themes and different sticker packs and I've really really enjoyed this activity to the point where I'm actually looking forward to doing it every day and thinking about the things I'm grateful for let me show you some of the pages I made to give you a little bit of inspiration and also to show you what's possible with this app so all the pages that you can see here they talk about 10 to 15 minutes to make they really gave me that thinking space that I needed every morning and as you can see some days I wrote more and some days I wrote less and what's really nice is that you're not forced to write anything you can also express your gratitude using pictures rather than text and so I felt that was really helpful as well but now let's create a new page and let me show you how I am doing this so when you tap on a new page you get to choose a page style you can choose a back background color and you can also choose the type of grid that you want to use for my journals I've always started with a white page and a blank background but don't worry if you don't make the right choice from the start you can always change this later as well and then tap continue staring at a blank page in your journal can be quite intimidating but this is what I really love about Zinnia because you can now tap on the stickers and you can see all the different stickers it has so you can start with a theme for example and one of the themes that really appealed to me when I first started doing this is the nature mod theme. This comes with a series of papers, cards, stickers, letters, dividers and frames to get you started really quickly. So let's have a look at some of the papers here and I think I like this one quite a lot. This is quite a simple paper. So now we can resize it and make it fit the page like this and now you can see already how the page is not empty anymore and this is how quick it was so what we want to do now to prevent this from sliding around we can lock this element now like this but of course there's so many more stickers to choose from so let's see what other stickers might fit on this page so let's open the stickers again and then let's go back and let's have a look at some of the sticker packs that come with Zinnia and you can see here there is so many to choose from and they're actually all really cute and I've spent hours and hours trying them out and now you can see why I've been able to make so many gratitude journal pages really easily because of all these stickers that are available within the app so this organic textures pack here is one of the sticker packs I really really like it has a really nice color palette and it fits really well with this page here so now let's choose some of these and then add them to our page as well this is quite cute and then I like this one a lot 
this is probably one of my favorites I don't know why I really like the shape and then the little circles here I use this for almost all my planners as well because it's so cute so let's put this here and then let's see what else we have maybe this one we can put that here looks quite cute and then of course you can add as many stickers as you like one of the things I really like about this layer is that it triggers my creativity so when I look at these lines here I really feel they lend themselves to add some lettering inside the lines and the curve them around so now let's have a look at the drawing and the lettering tools that are available within the app to do that you press on the squiggly line here and this brings up all the drawing tools that are available in the app and we have a number of different pins available so you can tap on the plus here and you can see all the different pins that are available and what's really nice about these pins is that they are all pressure sensitive and you want to try them out some of them are more pressure sensitive than others and out of all the pins that we have available here I really like the paint pin so let's start with that and then here on this side you can set the size of the pin and also the opacity and then on this side here we have a number of preset colors or you can tap on the plus and then you can choose any color that you like as well and for today's gratitude to journal I was thinking about writing some words that relate to the weekend some of the things I'm really happy about so let's start with sleeping in that's probably my number one favorite thing to do on the weekend so now we can write this into the gap here and you can see already that it's not quite like procreate unfortunately there is no streamline available but I've talked to the developers of this app and they said this is probably the number one requested feature to have streamline available so hopefully my wobbly lines are not going to be that wobbly anytime longer but then again I don't mind so much because it also means I have to practice my lettering skills a little bit more and not just rely on streamline to create beautiful lettering and then another thing I really enjoy on the weekend is having extra coffee normally I only drink one coffee in the morning but on the weekends I'm allowed to have two and so it really feels like an extra little treat and then of course you can try some of the other pens as well try the brush pen this is a little bit more pressure sensitive so this has a lot more difference between the thick down strokes and the thin up strokes so now another thing I really enjoy on the weekends is going for long walks with my husband so oops this is a bit too thick and another really nice thing about this app is that it supports that two finger tap undo it's so good I'm so grateful that Procreate made this feature available for all other app developers how cool is that so now let's make this a little bit smaller let's try some other pens as well like the watercolor pen so this is quite nice to do little backgrounds now we just need to choose a different color tap on the plus and then use the eyedropper here so now you can choose different colors maybe colors you already have on the page to start with and then tap done and now you can still adjust this color as well if you want to maybe let's change the opacity as well and then we can paint over this quite cute and here as well and as you can see my lettering here doesn't look as beautiful as it does in procreate due to the lack of streamline and if you feel the same way and if you feel that this is just not nice enough for you we've also got the ability to add text so let's do that let's tap done and then let's use that text tool here so now we can tap anywhere on the page to bring up the text tool and then Zinnia comes with a number of different fonts pre-installed but you can also install other fonts on your iPad and then they become available within Zinnia as well so now let's choose one of the fonts here I've chosen Peony here this is quite a cute font and really one of the things I love about the weekend as well that I get extra lettering time so that goes on my gratitude journal as well now this is quite small so of course we can make this bigger I've got the size here so you can tap on that and then hold it down so it gets bigger a little bit faster and then we can also change the color we don't want this to be black let's make it gray as well same as the others we can now put it anywhere we want here on the page and then a third way of adding text to your page is using the stickers as you see there's some of the sticker packs that have text on them and 
and they are actually a lot of fun to use. So there's lots of different styles of letters that you can choose from. And there's this one particular style that I like a lot and it's called Dreamy. You can see it's got these really nice whimsical letters. So now it's the weekend, it's Sunday today. So let's type Sunday and let's put this on our page. So the easiest way I found to do this is just write the word first and put all the letters on the page first and then we'll rearrange them once they're all there. And now we can grab them off the top and then we can put them on the page anywhere we want. And it's also fun to not make them all the same size. I think this really adds to the appeal of these letters to make them different sizes like that and maybe even have them at different angles as well. And then what you can do as well is group the letters. So what you want to do is hold down the Apple Pencil until the lasso tool turns up. And then you can create a little lasso and highlight all the elements and tap group. So now you can move them all as one and then you can select them as well and maybe resize them. Let's put it here, right in the middle. And then the last thing I want to show you is how you can add pictures to your composition as well. If you have any photos or if you have lettering pieces maybe that you've made in Procreate, you can bring them into your journal as well. I've just made this sticker today and it says hang in there, which I think is quite appropriate. And so I'm going to put this here. Just as a little reminder that the situation is not going to be forever. We have to hang in there. We have to be positive and we really have to think about all the things that are making us happy right now. And and then of course I'm using this app not just for gratitude journals but actually for all my other planners as well. I've been using the GoodNotes app up until now. If you watch my previous video where I've shown you my evaluation process of choosing a planner app, you'll see that I ended up with GoodNotes but I've not been using it as much as I was hoping to and one of the biggest reasons for not using it that much is a it doesn't do a two finger tap undo, you have to double tap to undo and then it also does doesn't let you rotate the canvas and that's a huge showstopper for me because I don't usually sit on the table when I do my planning or my journaling I actually sit on the couch and then rather than having to turn the iPad being able to rotate the canvas like this makes a huge difference so I definitely much prefer using this but then also it's got these little pre-made doodles that I can put on the page and instantly make a really really nice looking page and I know I've said it many times already but I love doing this so much so now over to you. I really recommend that you download this app from the App Store. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. Yes, I have talked to the developers of the app, but they haven't asked me to do this review. I'm doing this because I really, really love the app and I feel like you might enjoy it as well. Unfortunately, and this is probably the only negative thing I have to say about the app, is that it's not a one-time purchase. It's a subscription. It's $9 a month or $40 for the year. I don't normally like apps that have a subscription, but I like this app so much. I'm making an exception here. I really, really like it. One of the nice things about the app also is that it backs up to iCloud. If you have more than one iPad, it syncs to all your other devices. And also it means you never lose your journal, which is a massive benefit. So even if you delete the app and then install it again, you will have all your journals saved in iCloud. If you decide to download the app and try it out please leave a comment on this video I'm so curious to hear your opinion about it as well if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with anyone that you can think of that could really benefit from having a digital journaling app on their iPad if you're curious to watch my good notes review video I'm gonna bloop it up here so you can watch that as well thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video